Okay, everyone, so we're going to take a look at that problem from the previous slide, which was 10 times 5 plus 2 divided by 2. So I'm going to go back up to the PEMDAS and, and just remind you that P stands for parentheses or grouping symbols, and that always comes first when we're solving expressions. Um, then we have exponents, which, I mean, maybe it's a two with a little two, maybe it's a three with a four, um, and basically that just means that you multiply the base number here the amount of times that you see the little number. So this would be two times two equals four. Then we have multiplication and division. Okay, so those go together. You have to think of them as like their best friends. So you go from left to right. Um, and so really you have to look at your expression to see does multiplication come first? Does division come first? Um, and then actually what you would do is you would do whichever of these two come first from left to right. And that's the same for addition and subtraction. So if subtraction were to come in an expression before um, addition, you would do subtraction first. So they're like best friends again, and you just follow them from left to right. So let's take a look at this problem. We have 10 times 5 plus 2 divided by 2. So I can already see I don't have parentheses or exponents, so I need to look at the multiplication and division. Now, I do see that I have multiplication and division. So I'm going to go from left to right and do which one, whichever one comes first. So in this particular problem, it's 10 times 5. So I'm going to work on 10 times 5. I'll do that first. So 10 times 5 is 50. Then I would rewrite the equation and then I would look at it again. So which one comes next? If I look at my PEMDAS at the top, um, I, do I have multiplication and division, addition and subtraction? I have addition and division, but I know by going by these rules, I have to do multiplication or division first. So I'm going to work on the two divided by two, which is one. Then I will rewrite the equation or the expression, and my answer is 51. And that's how you follow the order of operations for a problem like this.